Did you know that new diagnoses of cervical cancer decreased by more than 50% from 1975 through 2010? This graph is for all ages combined. However, if we look at diagnoses among women 50 years of age and older from 1975 through 2010, the results are even more dramatic. The decrease is about 65%. Screening plays an important role in cervical cancer prevention. Here is how screening works. Before cancer forms, there are abnormal cell changes in the cervix. A simple pap test can find abnormal cervical cells, which can then be removed before they become cancer. This map shows new diagnoses of cervical cancer in the United States. The darker areas represent higher rates. You can see how the map has changed over time from 1995 through 2004 and then through 2009. Major improvements have been seen in all regions of the country. Nonetheless, data from the National Cancer Institute's Surveillance, Epidemiology and End Results or SEER program show that some groups continue to have high cervical cancer rates, especially black women in the South Hispanic women along the U.S.-Mexico border, and white women in Appalachia. In addition, specific groups of American Indians, Asian Americans, Alaska Natives, and Pacific Islanders also have higher rates. The higher rates in these populations are due in part to a lack of access to screening programs. Ask your doctor questions about cancer screening and prevention. Get the facts and learn what is best for your health. Check your status and reduce your risk for cancer. For more information, go to www.cancer.gov slash cervical. Vaccination against infection with the number one cause of cervical cancer, the human papilloma virus, commonly known as HPV, could prevent more cancers in the future, along with increased screening due to improved health care coverage. For more cancer statistics, go to www.seer.cancer.gov.